Hey there again, folks. <laughs> welcome, welcome back to New Day, New Game. Uh, today we're playing Applewood, which uh, starts off saying, "Press the any key." And when I press the an any key to to start recording, well, I, I, I press a very specific key to start recording. But uh, but yeah, it started the game, and it kind of surprised me. That's why I looked a little bit surprised there. But anyway, I'd like to thank uh, Garrett uh, Garrett Thompson for letting me try this game out for free. Supposed to be kind of a cutesy platformer game, so not fully uh, my cup of tea, but I'll give any game a try. It's not seeming very loud. Hiya! I know this is your first time playing Applewood. It is! You want a quick explanation for how to play? Sure. Okay. Let's start by walking around. Good. You can also jump, you know. Very important. Okay. That's the button I expected it to be. Super cool, but here's a secret. You can hover in the middle of your jump. Hmm, okay. Interesting. You did it. Officially expert status. I doubt it. There are other things that you can do, but they're not super important right now. You'll figure those things out later. I believe in you. I got it. Alright, well, if that's the case, my work is accomplished. So long! Okay. Wait, oh. Oh, wait, one more thing before I forget. After this, after this, you're going to learn about the backstory of this game. You can skip it if you want to, but I really want you to watch all of it. It really means a lot to me, okay? Okay, you sluggy worm snake thingy with balloons. I'm not sure what the, I'm not sure what it is. It has antennas, so I don't, I don't, it's not a snake, I don't think. I guess maybe a slug. Uh, I won't. Phew, thank you. I knew you were a good person deep down. Wow. Well, anyway, that's everything uh, for real this time. That kind of game's uh, shaming people for not wanting to uh, listen to the story. Taking off again. See you later. <laughs> People once believed this story long ago. High above the world, on the peak of the tallest mountain, there existed a barren place where no fruit could grow. Well, the atmosphere wasn't condu conducive. The howling wind and freezing cold begrudged what little what life tried to do, until one day a lone sapling sprouted. The sapling resisted the wind and cold and grew into an enormous tree whose branches reached above the, above the clouds. On the tree grew a small red fruit. <coughs> this was the first apple from which all other apples came. The apple whispered to the mountain and the mountain responded by blooming into a verdant paradise. Fruit grew abundantly, animals frolicked happily, and peace reigned. Yay, peace! The people that lived beneath the mountain began to worship the apple, thanking it for the bountiful harvest the mountain provided. But this paradise could not last. Of course it couldn't. An unspeakable transgression, an interloper, attempted to steal the apple away from the grove. This theft was un unsuccessful, but as a result, the grove was sealed away from all, and the trespasser was cursed for eternity. If peace kept going forever, what game? why would we have a game? The fate of the people that worshipped the apple has since been forgotten. The mountain, now a harsh and dangerous place, has been all but abandoned, with no trace of the grove to be found. Yet its legacy lives on, and can be... Uh, seen still surviving in a place not far off.
in a secluded forest called Applewood. Hey, that's the name of the game. That's the name of the game that we're playing. Assuming this is our, uh, the main character there. Whoa. Okay, so that's how long he can hover. Oh. Hmm. I thought that button did like a long jump. Wait, how do you... Oh, okay. Ringo's hut. Are we are we Ringo? That's kind of, that's kind of wrong. I was thinking it was a. Uh, I was thinking it was this one. It was telling me that I was like what? You want me to just walk off? <laughs> okay, so I can hover and do. Almost did it again. But well, hello, Ringo. Maybe to see you, you've uh, taken interest in learning. Welcome to my library. Impressed? Well, you should be. In this library, I compiled almost enough books to fill a whole bookshelf. Yeah, that's impressive. So it's a very good thing that I have uh, three of those. That's... Hold on to your hat here. Over 20 books. And I can read almost every one of them. That's impressive, you see, for these books are all written in a strange and foreign tongue. You probably can't understand it. But fear not. I can read these books for you. If you see one you're interested in, just bring it here. I will divulge its secrets to you. Anything to further the education of my fellows. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to read it. Can we just like... Yeah, sure. So if I take it... Up here and talk to him... Hmm. Goldberry... Hard Tomato... Wow, it's, it's saying just eat whatever fruit I find. Wow. Complete absence of pictures. Okay. Who are you? Hey, Ringo, what's shaking? The trees. Heard a loud noise just now. Weird, I didn't hear a thing. I've been preoccupied, you see. Yes, your old pal Al has uh, got himself into a predicament. Want to hear about it? Uh, see how it is. No time left for your good pal Al, is that, is that right? Well, go on then, busy guy. But let me know if uh, you change your mind. I've got a proposition for you. Well, okay. Running perfectly legitimate, independent business out of this part of the woods ain't easy. Sometimes they gotta pick up side jobs. Like, take this chicken keep, for instance. I raise chickens on the side, you see. Keeps the old lady happy. You may, you may not have known it, but I'm a dedicated chicken keeper. Just look at how long I've kept these chickens in this chicken keep I just mentioned. New addition, Ringo, Pally, there's nothing new about them. Been keeping them for years. That's the dedicated chicken keeper I am. Wow. We're terrible friends if we didn't know that he was a chicken keeper because it seems like it, that's quite a big uh, part of his character. Definitely more than a few hours, but I'm getting off track. Let's talk about our new joint chicken care plan. You see, chickens, they need to be fed every now and then. That's my chicken keeping expert uh, expertise talking there. And there's nothing chickens like more than eating gold berries. You know, the little yellow ones that wriggle, wiggle around. 
But unfortunately, acquiring gold berries ain't e as easy as it used to be. Unless these folks found out about their special properties. Like Ben Tasty and that sort of... Oh, okay. That was like... To get you high or something. His gold berries taste like gold berries. Nothing shady. Nope. No, sir. Okay, now now I'm feeling like it's shady again. He keeps denying it. If you if you say happen to come across a few gold berries, what say you bring them back here to me? I want to ask you to do it for free, though. What kind of independent business, Paka, do you think I am? Tell you what, if you bring me gold berries, I'll trade I'll trade you some of my ethically obtained goods for them. I, want, I don't know if I feel comfortable with this guy. He is emphasizing his honestness way too much. I don't trust somebody who's telling you constantly that they can trust you. That you can trust them. So what do you say? Done deal or done deal? Jake is sign if you want to look at what uh, what I have to trade you. Is he saying he's trading his wife? I feel like that's what... So if I bring you gold berries, your... 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 Your, your wife? Okay. Don't let me down, kiddo. This game's weird already. Um, I think your... Husband's, uh... Trying to give me an indecent proposal here. Hello, Ringo. Do you, did you need something? Oh, great. Is Al trying to involve you in the, a scam again? True, I can't resist the allure of new stuff either. All right, if you're okay with it, I suppose there's nothing wrong with trading. So, can I get you anything? It's a heart made of. Oh, oops. I, okay. It'll make you healthier. Want to buy it? Yeah, don't buy. I didn't realize that. Uh, okay, I didn't realize how it worked. Okay. Okay. Okay, I guess that's for our health. List the best swimmers. Octavian, Lily, Tammy, Nuki, Jacqueline, Al... Pacone. Wow. That's a terrible pun. Alfred. That's another terrible pun. Rocco. Literally rock. Ringo. Wow. Oh, wow. Literally stay out of the water. Okay. Not joking. Oh. Ribbit. Ribbit. Okay. Oh. Can we get up here? Okay, we can get up here like this. Oh, is that a go bear? Was that one of the go berries that they uh, were talking about? Oh my goodness! I locked myself out of the house again. Of course this will happen on the day I finish installing my new shelves. Okay. Anything over here? Okay. Ooh, there he is. Sun's faded a bit, but you can still make out the following. Cornwell Farm, Berries and Fruits. Uh, welcome to Cornwall Farm. Fresh run dirt. A plant that likes growing near water could be planted here. Partial sunlight, okay. Fertilizer kept here. Whoa. Oh. 
Well, does it? Sometimes it'll just drop it, and sometimes it'll throw it. Hmm. This grave marks the spot the uh, Grandpa Cornwell was buried. Find, find rest, old man. Thought they were first saying it was saying find the rest. I was like, what? How did he die? <laughs> Uh, plant find of heights could grow here. I guess I don't have any to plant there. Which makes sense. It's the beginning of the game. Oh, we... Okay, so we can wall jump. Interesting. Eee, okay. I think I was full. Still come and see me in my loft. I have a uh, tone for every trouble. Alfred, okay. Okay, so that... So those it can help heal us. Hmm. Whoa! That didn't make me jump at all. Hmm. Good morning, Ringo. I know. That obnoxious noise is what woke me up, too. That's not all. It looks like some clod also shut the stone gates in this part of the forest. Yeah, I just saw that. See? Shut tight. What kind of person? Yep. I think it's safe to say we've got a real inconsiderate jerk on our hands. I'd be fired up about it, too, if not for so early. You bet we're going to go look for that guy. And let me tell you, when we find him, we're going <clears> to <throat> ask him politely, stop. Before, do, but before we do that, I'm hungry. Push to open that door is all the way across this pond. And I'm pretty sure swimming on an empty stomach is a health hazard. That is, if you're an octopus. So I'm going to need an apple before we can pull it. Not one of those tiny ones you like to eat. Oh no. I want a big apple. You want New York? One of those ought to be growing around here somewhere. I saw it. Ah, yes. That hit the spot. Okay, I'm good to go. Hop on and I'll take you to the switch. That was probably a bit risky. If you have wings, hover, press and hold, jump in midair, you can... Okay, yeah. I've been using it. That ought to open the gate now. Should be able to pass through now. Although I'm thinking if that gate was shut, I wonder if others have been shut too. I'll go check on ahead. Meet me there, yeah? I'll tell you if, you, if I see anything interesting. You know, interesting. Okay. Okay, good. I'm glad we had that. Oh, dang it. I missed it. Woo! Almost screwed up there. I think one thing I'm messing up on is... I don't start hovering. Oh, well, that's gonna be oh. Whew, okay. Okay, well, I, I missed that one. Okay, come on now. Falling into briar patches can result in bad moods. Okay, so I'm assuming that hurts us.
Okay. Oh, oh crap. Oh. Okay, made it. What the crap was that? Flicked on your adventures upon this stuff. Okay. Memory saved. That was a save point. Okay. Cool. I think I'm going in the video here. Pretty, pretty nice little game so far. Uh, how much is this? Six dollars. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, yeah. This game is making me think a little bit of Owlboy, just from the little bit that I'm playing. I don't know if there's going to be any crazy boss fights like there were in Owlboy, but... But yeah, the hovering part is making me think of Owlboy. I don't know if there's going to be any, like, situations like, uh... I know in Owlboy there was, like, you know, you could have, like, different teammates, you know, uh, or different allies that do different things. But I'm betting you're going to have more skills than just hovering, though. Uh, or be able to do more with your hovering. Uh, because it was saying something about, yeah, we'll get to that later, you know, at the very beginning of the game. Or there's more, but you'll learn about later, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty nifty game so far. If if you want to see more of the game uh, for yourself, the link will be down in the description below to, to get uh, to where you can get it. But anyway, that's all for this game, and I'll see you next week. Later there, folks.